And yes, I'm angry because he, he's hurting people. He hurt the one person who, who held him up and helped him the most. Well, now a Fox 5 I-Team exclusive. It's the murder and manhunt that the entire nation is talking about. The brother of the disgraced lawyer suspected of killing their mother has issued a challenge. Man up and turn yourself in. Now, Fox 5 senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell sat down one-on-one -on -one with Richard Merritt's only brother. That was inside the home where the sibling's mother was murdered just 11 days ago. That's right, Sine. Very dramatic. Robert Merritt is Richard Merritt's older brother. And today was the funeral for the mother his only brother is suspected of killing. He's understandably angry, confused, and shocked, and he has challenged his brother to put an end to the manhunt. I'm not gonna sit by silently while he terrorizes his family and these victims. Robert Merritt sits in the living room of the home where his mother was murdered, and, then he, and he has a message for the prime suspect. His younger brother, Richard, the man now at the center of a nationwide manhunt. You need to turn yourself in. You need to end this. You need to man up. You need to, to account for, for everything you've done. The lies, the deceit. I trusted this person. For two years, the Fox 5 I-Team investigated how more than a dozen victims said well-known Cobb County attorney Richard Merritt stole their settlement checks after handling their personal injury lawsuits. A sentence of 30 years to serve 15 years. In January, a Cobb County judge sentenced Merritt to 15 years in prison for stealing more than $450,000 from 17 different clients. But Merritt was given two weeks to get his affairs in order, despite pleas from his victims to lock him up immediately. He's a con man. He is a professional criminal. And when he gets, if you let him out on the street, He's just going to do it again. His mother, Shirley, often came to court to support her son. She put up the money for his $440,000 bond. She let him live with her after his arrest. Robert says his mother adored her youngest son. She was cooking him his favorite meal on the day he was to surrender. I don't understand what precipitated such heinous anger and violence. Robert Merritt gave the Fox 5 I team an exclusive account of the final hours before his mother's murder. So when I came in, I went over here. When he entered his mother's home after her murder, he found place settings for two, spaghetti noodles, and his mother's favorite red sauce on the stove, bread slathered with garlic butter, ready to be toasted. It looked like they were gonna have a, a nice meal together. But something happened, just steps away from the kitchen, in the basement at the bottom of a stairwell, his mother was badly beaten and stabbed to death. Her body was found the next day by a relative. I was just dumbfounded. I was totally shocked and totally, I, I didn't, I, I just it was unfathomable. It was just like, I, I felt like I had just woken up in a bad dream. Robert Merritt doesn't understand what went wrong with a brother who had never shown any signs of violence growing up. What happened? I, I, Dale, if I knew the answer to that, I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to speculate. I don't know if they they got into an argument. I can't even conceive of what could have created the scene that that occurred here. Robert Merritt says his brother shaved his goatee in a bathroom sink, grabbed a handful of clothes from his bedroom, and took off in his mother's gray Lexus. Richard Merritt's report time was 5 p.m. We know Merritt headed northwest, right past the Cobb County Jail. A half hour before he was to turn himself in, he was captured by this truck stop surveillance camera in Cartersville. He had cut off his ankle monitor nearby. He was now a murder suspect on the run. I don't understand the end game here. I don't understand w how this ends positively. I, I cannot put my head, I, I can't comprehend Dale. I, I don't get it. And yes, I'm angry because he, he's hurting people. He hurt the one person who, who held him up and helped him the most, who time after time after time stood by him. Merritt had a goatee during sentencing but shaved it off. It is the same look he had when we covered his earlier bond hearing. Take a close look. And this is actually my brother. Robert Merritt, a CDC scientist, was nine years older than his brother. He admires the job his parents did raising two boys, but admits he's been estranged from both his mother and brother for more than 10 years. His father died years ago. I was in shock. 
I just, I couldn't even believe it. He was devastated when he watched the Fox 5 stories of his brother's victims and felt terrible for the people. Now he has lost his mother and waits for someone, somewhere, to find his brother. And he wants his brother to know he will not be silenced. This is not going to end well if you continue to run. You need to pay for the crimes that you've committed. For all those individuals that you pled guilty to and now for brutally, allegedly brutally murdering our mother. You ever going to be able to forgive him? I don't know. The jury's out on that, I have to be honest. There's a lot of anger and pain and hurt. Now, the U.S. Marshal Service has offered a $5,000 reward for Merritt's capture. Richard Merritt, Inspector Frank Limka says they've had possible sightings of Merritt all over the country. The stolen car has yet to be found, and he says Richard Merritt could be anywhere. Russ, Sine? Yeah. In such a dangerous situation because Richard has nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, and you can tell because of this murder that, that he's, he's got to be feeling trapped. Something happened inside that house. Russ, it was very dramatic to, to see this just wonderful scene in the kitchen where the two appear to be ready to sit down and have yeah. lunch. And then her body found at the bottom of the steps, no more than 30 feet away. What happened? No sign of a struggle upstairs. No sign of any kind of fight upstairs. No sign of any violence upstairs. 30 feet away down those steps, she was murdered. Well, the search continues, Dale. Thanks so much. And we'll follow it. Thanks. Appreciate it.